Hi everyone. In my previous video, I showed you how to set up a testing session for your students. In this one, I'm going to show you how to actually administer the test. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on Manage Test Sessions along the left side. And I'm going to scroll down to the section where it says Saved Testing Sessions. And sure enough, right there is 4G Read Fall. That's the test session that I created earlier. So I'm going to click the Test Now button. At this point, the students in your class are going to log in. And I have a student right now that's helping me demonstrate this, so I'm going to give him the login information right now. He's going to type in the session name that you gave. He's also going to type in the, uh, the password that, I cr that was created when I started the testing session. And once the student has done all of that, He's going to get some information that he needs to confirm, make sure that his name is spelled correctly, and so forth. And once he clicks his way through all of those little screens, he's eventually going to click a button, I think, that says Test Now or Begin Test, something like that. And when that happens, we're going to see his name go from a waiting student to, oh, to be confirmed. There we go. And up here I see it says actions needed to be confirmed one student. So I'll click confirm. Uh, this just came up because I had started this earlier for a test. So I'm going to hit done. And here we go. He's now away and testing. Now a couple of issues can come up while you're testing and I just want to go over what to do about it. First of all, sometimes kids lose the testing window and they're not exactly sure where it went. There's an easy way to fix that if you're on a Chromebook. There is a little button uh, on the Chromebooks that looks like this. It looks like a rectangle with two lines next to it. When you click that key, that'll actually show you all of the windows that are open. And you should be able to find the window there. Sometimes a student may need to go and use the bathroom. If that happens, you can actually pause their test. So you click next to their name. Is there something you need to click to get started? Because it still says uh, confirmed. It doesn't say testing. Oh, there we go. Thanks. So I'm going to click next to their name, select action, and I'm going to hit pause. And that way, if a student needs to go out and use the bathroom or something, they may. When we're ready to continue, I'll click that paused person and press resume. And that will continue their testing. Now, one other issue can happen every so often where somebody's test actually freezes. In that case, you're going to do the same thing that you would do if you were going to, let's say, run out of time to send the kids to lunch and recess, and you have to continue the test later. In either of those situations, you're going to click the checkbox next to their name, go to Select Action, and you're going to click Suspend. That is going to suspend their test. And notice that it says, if yes, the student may continue the test at a later date. That's important. So I hit OK. Now that test has been suspended. So if I want, I can go up and click End Testing Session, and I can stop testing for the day, and I could start it again at a later day. Or if this student was having a computer issue, I suspend it and then hit Select Action, uh, test again, and that'll start the test over again. So whether you're starting again in two minutes because of a glitch or the next day, just hitting test again is going to allow you to continue uh, and pick up where that student left off when they were testing. And at the end of any testing session, when you're done, you're just going to hit end session. And make sure you save and edit. Don't delete the session. Your students will not like doing the test multiple times. That's all there is to it. Again, if you suspended the test session for a number of kids and you need to continue at a later time, just go back to save testing sessions and test now once again for that same test. And uh, hopefully that's all there is to it.